Lock Smitty. Just a quick sidebar. I come into work today, and three of my people have Mohawks. Including myself, obviously. Actually, it's four. I forgot Jake. Yeah. How does that happen? I mean, there's only like 15, 18, whatever. That's a large percentage having Mohawks. And the real problem for me is too much male pattern baldness to have a Mohawk, and I just really feel like I got cut out. Now we're going to talk about this suit and we're going to get off hairstyling, right? This is the brand new accelerator for 2011. We were just bending it at uh, the Indianapolis Motor GP 2010. Thanks for everyone who stopped out, by the way. And we had the new 2011 accelerator there and everybody was revved up for it. This suit has always killed it for us. Yeah, definitely. The accelerator, I mean, Smitty processes a lot of our online stuff and you've processed uh, one or two Accelerator suits, no doubt. Yeah, it's always been a great, great product for us, and we're excited to see the new one. It was cool to be an Indian and see the customers' reactions, you know, for the new suit that's kind of coming because it was really positive. Mohawk Smitty is what six one? Yeah, six one. What are you weighing today? One eighty five. And we've got them in a forty four US. I would say this thing, and we've got a back protector in too. We've got our Knox Contour yeah. race back protector in. This thing fits you pretty good. I would say it's it's money in the 44 US, and it's nice they've got the sizing spot on. Let's go ahead and just give them a, I'm gonna get out of the way and give them a nice 360 and, and kind of get in race position. Okay. Show them how the suit moves. Back. Lots of great motion panels on this, as they've always done with the accelerator. And, and that's really been one of the things that's always driven the sales is this suit. And I have one too that I've ridden in one of the previous models. Yeah. These things move really good on your body. They do. Lots of perforation. Everybody loves perforation, you know, for cooling. The exterior shoulder armor here, the air blade system, you've got that hard outer shoulder protector underneath it. They have a measure of energy absorbing foam, gets a CE rating, very protective. We've got all Kevlar stretch here in the foam motion arm system. They bolstered the side of the arm and the side of the shoulder, if you want to turn just a little bit, with this extra additional energy absorbing material sewn in between a couple layers of leather. New is also this exterior elbow protector here. It's got an aluminum insert in the center. And what they did here is they sewed that on the outside of the suit. They didn't like sew the leather over it. And it works better that way when you just sew the protector on the outside of the suit. So you don't have the leather stretched over the sides, this abrading on the pavement when you fall in the elbow area. And that's where I've seen some suits have some issues that use that style of protector. So they did it right by putting it on the outside completely. Laser etched logo here. Tons of perf here in the arm. Okay. Let's come on back to the front of the suit. The area where you see the Technic logo here is not perfed. I don't think that's really a negative because there's so much perf everywhere else. Josh, you want to follow them all the way down? Perf into the upper upper legs, tons of it. The stretch material that they're using, the crotch and the back of the legs, is pretty much a stretch Cordura. There's really not a big need for the Kevlar there. The, the Cordura holds up pretty well. If you want to go ahead and turn around. The motion panels in this thing, right? Here in the shoulder, it winds underneath the underarm, down the side. So if you're a guy that's carrying a little extra weight around the middle, these things still, these will fit in shape guys and out of shape guys because of this big motion panel. If you're sporting a bit of a gut, that motion panel is just going to open up and it's going to accommodate you well and allow you to be comfortable and move around. If you're in shape, like Smitty's in good shape, it doesn't need to expand. It's not expanding at all on him because it doesn't need to. So there was a lot of thought put into that so this thing could fit a wide variety of body types just like its predecessor did. Got a big motion panel here in the waist. We have a good measure of perf perforation down here, small in the back, neoprene collar at the top, fully perfed panel here at the base of the neck. That's a great way to let some heat energy escape. Fully perfed in the underarm area, all the way down. That's really out of the impact zone, so you can get away with putting a ton of holes in it. If you want to pan down, Josh, you can see here on the outer portion of the calf, we've used a leather expansion panel too which is more durable than just using the Cordura and stuff there, for sure. Energy absorbing foam panels here, kind of the lower portion of the back, right? Your back protector doesn't come out quite that far, so they bolstered that a little bit. 
I like this thing a lot. I think they've done a great job. Stay tuned for part two. We've got one pulled apart. We're going to give you a quick look from the inside out of a brand new 2011 accelerator. And after looking at this, this thing does not look like this in the pictures. No, it does not at all. I was, I was really surprised. So When you put it on, I think it, it, it looks twice as good as it does in the pictures. No doubt about it. It's a good looking suit. Nice piece. Comes with the ceramic knee sliders too. The nice Technic Speed Star knee sliders. Those always have offered nice feel. I like riding those myself. Stay tuned. We're going to be back. We're going to give you a look from the inside out. Okay, here we go. From the inside out, the all new 2011 and beyond Technic Accelerator. We're going to use Knox Armor in the elbows, forearms, and the knee and shin area. Okay, CE certified. They built in a, a measure of adjustability in both areas where you can get in there, you can kind of pull it out. There's some Velcro. You can move it up, move it down, move it to the sides a little bit and really fine tune it for yourself. That's a cool feature. In order to access that, you have to go in through this back protector pocket. You Velcro it open. This does not come with any kind of spine pad, okay? Truth be told, the one it would come with isn't appropriate for the track. You need to get one anyways. We sell tons of them here. Don't worry about it. Just make sure you pick one up when you get your suit. But open this pocket up, and to access your armor pockets, you have to go in through that hole, even down to the knee. Easy to do, not a problem. You're able to install the chest armor in this suit. Okay, that's new for Technique for 2011. Open up these Velcro pockets right here, and you can slip it in. It's basically going to be some of the Knox chest armor. We will have that available for purchase with the suit, too. You can purchase it in add on. It's very affordable and easy to do, and it really complements the suit well. Pick up a nice Knox back guard, some Knox chest armor, a Technique accelerator. You've really got yourself a nice protective suit. On another note, I would also like to, to point out the fact there are provisions to install hip armor in the suit. It comes with some really thin foam padding. We also have here in stock some Knox hip padding so you can pull through that area too. Here is that neoprene collar. It's rolled, really comfortable. You can just kind of a close up look at the suit here. If you want to zoom in, got a little tailbone padding sewn in here. Have a look at that expansion panel down here in the calf area. Shoulder armor. Remember, we showed you the exterior shoulder part, right? That's backed up with a huge patch of energy absorbing foam. It's kind of trying to circle it right now. Huge. So it covers more than just the shoulder area. It kind of comes down the side of the arm, back of the shoulder, up here in the collarbone area a little bit. They've done a nice job of that. Some energy absorbing foam sewn in here in the collarbone area. We're just going to tie this up now. What do we think of the accelerator suit? We've always loved it. It's been a great seller for us. I've got one. Eddie's got one. Awesome piece. Protective, comfortable, well ventilated. This one looks hot. It's going to be a great seller. I would predict inventory is probably going to be a little bit short on these. We've had a shortage of accelerators the last couple of years because it has been so popular. I'm Brian Van from SportbikeTracker.com.